Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to convert a CSV file to the Parquet file in Azure Data Factory. So that's really easy and uh, we can do it quickly by using copy activity. Let me go ahead and uh, show you how it is going to work. So first of all, we need the CSV file and I have this uh, blob storage right there. So it's called Tech Brothers blob storage. Um, inside the storage, I have a container called input container and I have uh, one file called the customer.txt. Let's go ahead and open this file and see what data we have. See here we have ID and then first name, last name. So there are four records right there. And this is our CSV file. We would like to convert this file to the Parquet file. So Hadoop can ingest that file or use it. Now what we are going to do, we are going to open Azure Data Factory. And in the Azure Data Factory, what we will do, we'll create a new pipeline. Let's go to the new pipeline. And here we will bring a copy activity. Now copy activity right there and go to the source now. We will be clicking on new and in the, in the new we will be pointing to the our source file. So we will search for Azure Blob Storage. That's where our file is sitting. So click on continue and here we will select our delimited text or CSV file. Now hit next and then we will create a new link server service or use the existing one. In my case I'm going to use a new one. So here you can give some name. I'm gonna say, say Blob Tech Brothers. That's uh, uh, my uh, storage name is. And here I will select the subscription and then uh, I will uh, select the storage account. Um, in this case is a Tech Brothers storage. Now all good, here we don't have to point to any file or anything, we are just pointing to the Blob Storage. Once we are pointed to the Blob Storage, then we can further tell which file to read. So it's a link service that is pointing to the Blob Storage. Uh, and hit test and then uh, we are going to create. Uh, once uh, our linked service is created, uh, then we will be able to point to the uh, container and select the file. Go to browse, input container and then uh, select customer file. Hit OK. And our first row has header. Yes, that's true. Then we are going to hit OK. Now our source is ready. We can always go and preview the data. So here we have ID, first name, last name. All good here. Now we are going to go to the sync. In the sync, what we will do, we will select new and then use Azure Blob Storage if we would like to create the file on the same storage uh, or even different Blob Storage, you can do that as well. So in my case, I'm creating the file in the same container. Let's uh, actually, maybe we can create another container here. Let's call it output container. So we'll create a SAPT link service, service to the output container. Now let's go right there and uh, we are going to say, okay, it's going to be Parquet file. So select that right there next uh, and it's going to ask you, hey, which linked service you will use to uh, like to use them. Uh, in my case, uh, it is uh, this one is uh, pointing to the same blob storage, but different container. So I can use the same link service, but point to the different container. So we are going to go ahead and uh, select output container, hit OK, and uh, then we'll hit OK. Now what we will do here, we will open a connection here again. And now in the connection, we are going to provide the, the file name. So in my case, uh, I will say output customer dot. Okay. So that's the name I have given to my file in the output container. This looks good. So we don't have to do anything else. Uh, and we can simply go back to our pipeline. And our pipeline is uh, all set uh, to run. So see right there, our source is pointing to the file there. Uh, if we open, this is pointing to the customer file and uh, our destination is a uh, parquet right there. Now we can uh, debug. Our pipeline has been completed successfully. Let's go ahead and take a look on the data. So we'll go to the output for uh, container and here is our parquet file ready. I can uh, click there and uh, try to view the data. So let's say uh, edit and see what we have. So our parquet file created and as you can see that the data is uh, in the well formatted parquet format but we can't really read as a human like we would like to read as the column and the rows. So we can do that. If you want to view this data, what we can do, we can download this file. And once the file is downloaded, double click on that one. And uh, I already have actually installed the Parquet Apache Parquet Bureau application on the Windows. I have another video where you can down see how I downloaded. You can download as well by Googling it. So then I open that file and you can see right there, it is showing us the well formatted data. So this is Parquet file, but with the Apache Parquet Viewer, it is reading us in the column and the rows to view us, uh, show us in the well formatted data. 
So this is how you will read uh, the uh, file, uh, CSV file, and convert to the Parquet file in uh, Azure Data Factory by using copy activity. So I will suggest you if you are not performing any other uh, transformations, uh, so simply use the copy activity instead of using data flow activity uh, in the Azure Data Factory. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.